Hello everyone, this is Marcuson, and today I'm going to be giving my th thoughts on the Dominion Allies cards that just got released today on Dominion.games. Uh, I don't think the rule book is out yet, so normally I would be looking at the rule book, but um, the physical copies of Dominion Allies are delayed, so we're, we're, but they're released online here, so what I'm going to be doing instead is going to be looking uh, for the first time at these cards these new cards directly on the Dominion Games client. Uh, I've already given my thoughts on the cards that were previewed last week. So for example, Bobble, uh, I talked about last week. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of nice that you can top deck. And for some, for some allies, the favors um, are pretty useful, but for, for others, it's a bit more awkward. But anyway, uh, I've, I haven't looked at the, any of the new cards that weren't previewed. I did right click on some of them just to make sure that, uh, um, they were cached so that you don't see the, the, hopefully we won't see the black screen coming up, um, uh, while the card waits to load. Um, but there might be a few cards where, uh, I look to open it and for like a half second, uh, it's, uh, black as the card, uh, is, uh, the image is downloading from... Um, the internet, whatever. So, um, the first new one that I haven't seen is Psychophant. So that's like a suck up. So there, there's there's your Psychophant. Okay, this says plus one action, discard three cards. If you discarded at least one plus three. Okay, so you can't do the. Uh, so if you like thrown thrown this, uh, you won't get like plus three twice. So I, I mean, typically you're not discarding zero, even with like horse traders, you're typically discarding at least one card. But anyway, uh, when you gain or trash this plus two favors. Ooh. Okay. So you don't have to play it ever to get the favors. So I feel like this is trying to be the, um, what's it called? The, the lackeys, but for favors, but like la I mean, villagers uh, are much more all around useful. And this doesn't even draw. In fact, this is like, uh, if you really want to hit three or four, I guess this is good. Um, let me see. If you have a hand of Psychophant and then four other treasures, Unless one of them is a silver, you're only going to hit four. Whereas with like horse traders, you would hit five. If the two of them were copper, so it's not good for uh, much. Uh, but if you really want those uh, f favors for suddenly in like the same shuffle, like you gain this mid turn, or you gain this on your turn, and then the next turn before you shuffle, you use those favors for something uh, now. So it has some. Uh, it's speedy, at least. And uh, I guess the idea is that you trash this, hopefully you trash this later. Uh, when, I don't know, like you use like Zombie Apprentice or something to trash this, get more favors. I think that's kind of nice. I like having things that uh, when you gain and trash them, you do something. The card itself is on play is not, uh, not very impressive, but it has synergies. If you use uh, draw to X, like library or watchtower, um, obviously that's, a lot better but uh, yeah if you like to have a hand of five cards and you use throne room and then this and then you have three cards left you discard three once you get plus three and then you don't discard any so you don't get the plus three again so that if you discarded at least one is a pretty significant uh, um, drawback when you think about it like that anyway uh, townsfolk I've talked about all around uh, they're all pretty uh, useful uh, the first two being well, all, all the first three can sort of cantrip if you want, so they don't really hurt your deck. And typically they do something nice, like the Town Cry could be silver. Uh, give silver or just plus two coin to terminal, which is um, useful in a lot of situations. Blacksmith can draw. Uh, the Miller can pair up your Blacksmiths with your Elder, and the Elder lets you choose two instead of one for not just these cards, but for like any choose X card. Including um, catacombs, apparently. Yeah, that's that's a weird one. Anyway, 
augers I've talked about, uh, herb gatherer has the plus buy, acolyte has the trash for gold, uh, victory or action for gold, kind of cute, but doesn't do anything else. So it's pretty slow, but you can trash it for like one of the later ones if you rotate with herb gatherer, but they're both terminals. So that's a bit tricky to set up, but still, um, if herb gathers the only plus buy, uh, hopefully you can get it, um, even in reaction to your oppo uh, opponent, because you don't want your opponent to get it, or if you get it, you force your opponent to get it so that they don't get locked out of plus buy. But if something happens like, um, they top deck, I, I don't know. There are some weird situations where, uh, the herb gather gets played right away, uh, in the, the first turn or two. And then you, you get screwed out of the plus buy. But, and then there's like 11 other cards you're not going to get back for Herb Gatherer. But, you know, maybe hopefully plus buy is not too crazy. And then they're limited to only one plus buy, unless there's like Throne Room or something. But anyway, uh, Sorceress, I, I, I like the Sorceress more than I should probably. Because when you, as you draw your deck, you know more and more uh, what the top card of your card is, uh, deck is going to be. But anyway, Clashes is a new one. Oh, you said there's the black screen. Uh, some, some, some Clash of Clans stuff here. I don't know. Um, four copies. Battle plan. So there's four of each of these. They start with the cheapest one, and then they go up into the the next four. Be Archer, the next four. Warlord territory. It, it's explained uh, on the uh, randomizer card. So it's a Clash. So the battle plan is plus one card, plus one action. You reveal an attack card from your hand for plus one card. You may rotate any supply pile. Okay, so not just these ones. You can also rotate the uh, like the herb, uh, the wizards or the augers, so that's actually kind of nice. I, I like that it can you can do a little bit. Uh, you can. Uh, I I wonder if the being able to rotate any supply pile means uh, you can also rotate the uh, split piles from empires. I don't know about castles, but like rocks, catapults, or. Uh, um, Emporium Patrician and stuff like that. That I don't know for sure, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, reveal an attack card. I assume that some of the other cards in this pile are attacks, and yeah, Archer is an attack, so there's some synergy there. Each other player with five or more cards in hand reveals all but one and discards one of those you choose. Okay, so you hit your their second best card, and you get plus two. So, um. Kind of uh, souped up cut purse. Well, yeah, because you choose uh, which one. So yeah, it's like a super, it's like a strong cut purse in most situations, except it hits five or more, they have to have five or more cards in hand. So, uh, whereas cut purse, you can just keep, uh, you can just keep spamming it. It doesn't, their hand, it's not, it doesn't depend on their hand size. Um, But yeah, let's say uh, it's let's say they uh, you need a village and smithy to kick off, and you can only uh, hide one of that village and smithy. So whether you reveal the smithy or you reveal the village, you're, you're screwed either way because then uh, you're not going to be able to do your. Uh, you're going to lose one of those key components. Probably, hopefully, in that situation, you just you let them discard the smithy and hope that. Um, well, you reveal the smithy and hope that the other don't discard it, thinking that maybe you dud it, or you draw another uh, draw card with your village. I don't know. It, it seems pretty powerful, uh, the archer effect. Um, then the warlord is the next one. At the start of your next turn, plus two cards. Until then, other players can't play an action from their hand that they have two or more copies of in play. Oh, oh, this. Oh, by the way, this is the the four. Uh, the four type card that was alluded to in the um, teasers. Oh wow! That what kind of what kind of an attack is that? Boy, that's that that could change the game in some situations. I mean, you know it's coming way in advance, so you just don't play in a way that has too many copies of something. Hopefully, this. But then again, nine of. Oh, this is one of those nine piles. So there's that's this is already one less redundancy that you have, uh, one less opportunity for redundancy. And none of these cards really. Uh, well, let me see territory. Yeah, it doesn't draw any cards. Uh, 
not that I see, um, an action from their hand. So they could play from their uh, discard, like with Vassal, but then if you play with the Vassal first and then the cards in your hand, after those cards still go into play. So then you would hopefully play those cards afterwards. Or you use the uh, the courier that was revealed in this set that can play from the discard. So that's one way to get around this. Uh, but like, if you could only play two villages, imagine, or two smithies, imagine. And then this card itself, uh, it's non-terminal plus two cards. So you get two cards in the start of your next turn. And you lose one. So let me see. Um, that's like a surplus since you, this is a stop card. That's like a surplus of one extra card. Um, so it's kind of like Caravan-ish, uh, which is one card, uh, one card now, one card next turn. And having the one card now is a bit better uh, in early game because you could get something a bit more valuable uh, before you shuffle and then that you could take advantage of in the next turn. But um, plus two cards is still all right and it's non-terminal so the effect itself is all right uh i don't think it's as um amazing as it looks because this is five and there's only four of them and then your if your opponent gets them too and if your opponent gets them you're only going to be limited maybe you're only going to be limited to playing two of these anyway but it's it's something it helps you set up uh your battle plants and archers so it has utility and then let's move to territory Worth one per differently named victory card you have. That includes itself. When you gain this, gain a gold per empty supply pile. I like that part, the, the gain the gold per empty supply pile. Uh, even with no other victory cards, this could get up to four for six, which is a good rate. Uh, sometimes... None of these give plus buy, so if you trash your estates, it could be awkward to get a uh, estate back. Uh, and maybe you don't want Dutch, but it could be valid. This could be quite uh, valuable. I don't know how many in the set. I don't think there are that many uh, victory cards. There's, probably, there's a few. There's a distant shore on another a split pile. Um, I mean, thematically, it makes sense with the other cards, but I don't know how much territory really synergizes with any of the other clashes. Um, I like the card on itself. I like... Um, it seems a bit easier to get it up to four than... Uh, what's that card called? The Fairgrounds from Cornucopia. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty... Pretty wild pile. I think this is uh, quite an effective pile. And the battle plans you could get up to four, and those could be labs if you have uh, a, one of these attacks. So, yeah. And then with Warlord plus two cards, you're going to have more reliable. So it's like a rich get richer situation. Pretty impressive. Uh, pretty impressive pile. Uh, the forts is also new. Tant Garrison Hill Fort Stronghold. Okay, so Fort is in the name of one of them. What is what does they do? They're they're forts. They plus the tent is plus two coins. You may rotate the forts. Okay. When you discard this from play, you may put it onto your deck. It's not the first card we've seen with that effect in this set. Um, I don't know. I like the idea of top decking a, a, a plus two silver. Like if you draw this on turn three with three other coppers you play, then you top deck it. Maybe you get two fives instead of one. Or you get a five and a four instead of a five and a three. I think it makes it a nice open and. If what does it rotate to? Uh, garrison plus two this turn when you gain a card, add a token here at the start of your next turn, remove them for plus one card each. Okay, so you play it and then you start uh gaining tokens for each card you gain. So maybe you buy one card and then you get plus one card next turn. A silver that gives you plus one card next turn. I, I, I can dig that. A silver that gives you plus two cards next turn. Uh, early game. I think I can also dig that. Well, not super early game because you're going to have to rotate the pile from the tenths first. So we're talking like third shuffle here. So the, around that point that you're hope, you're trying to do a bit better stuff than just 
uh, play terminal silvers and buying cards. But you 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 never know. I mean, and then with the, the obviously the synergies with things like a gain mid turn uh, could be very powerful. Oh, it is terminal, so you're uh, you're gonna have to like play a village and then play this and then play some other card that gains a card, which is likely going to be terminal itself. So you know it doesn't it doesn't scale up as quickly as you might like. It's just more like mid mid to late game. That's when the the plus one card part is going to like go up by more than one, uh, I think. Given given that it's terminal and given that you already like possibly you already have a tent in your deck too, uh, but that does any that does nothing and doesn't. Uh, but anyway, it. So with the tent, you could rotate again to Hillfort. And this is gained a card costing up to four. Choose one, put it into your hand, or plus one card, plus one action. Uh, I guess this is meant to be the synergy with Garrison. At five. Um, gaining fours. What other card gains fours? It's a comparable sculptor, which is, you know, you gain it, put it into your hand. There's no choice, but if it was a treasure card, you get a plus one action. So this doesn't give you a plus one action. Puts the card into your hand, which is a nice effect. Uh, any card that costs up to four, so it could be silver. Or you could cantrip it. So I think the idea is, uh, I think a lot of the time you're going to be uh, cantripping, uh, especially if you're gaining terminals, if you're gaining like uh, smithies or something. Uh, and there's a village. Well, you, if you gain a village... Um, you might still put it into your discard, but you might still go for the plus one card, plus one action, because you may not have villages. But uh, anyway, uh, I like you know you know five cost cards that gain things that are less than five are a bit of a tricky deal. Like I'm thinking of like a cobbler, but this you know you could play this every turn. So uh, as I think has utility. I. So other card that gains four is uh, Conjurer that in this set that uh, you gain and it put, puts itself into your hand. Uh, this that that's terminal is the biggest thing. So if you don't have villages that game, you might get you might choke on uh, your you might just not well you're not gonna be able to play the Conjurer all the time. But this this you would be able to play all the time, but it doesn't help it. So I don't know what, exactly what to think of it. But you know obviously when Workshop is good, Hillfort will be good. And when you don't have stuff you really want to workshop, it's worse, but it gains silvers to your hand. So that's always, uh, that's something to consider. So there's your Explorer uh, Stronghold uh, Victory card. Also four types. Action, Duration, Victory, four. Choose one plus three. So you can choose one of these, plus three, or at the start of your next turn, plus three cards. Uh, well, the plus three is going to be great on the last turn of the game. And then the next, the plus three card is going to be useful uh, a lot of the rest of the time. Plus three cards on a card like this is uh, is a typically good. Maybe not six, cost six good, but you slap on two VP and you give it uh, a thing to do on the last turn. Uh, plus the plus three, or if you need some uh, province now, you can get it. That's pretty nice. Also, elders also on the board, you could get both. Terminal either way, but uh, I, I like the stronghold. Uh, Doesn't necessarily synergize with too much in the rest of the forts, but uh, you know you take what you get. It, it it's it buys you something for the garrison. It helps you set up garrison with other stuff. Eh? I like the color, the the blue. What's it called? The orange, green. I don't know if we'd seen that uh, prior to the set. Importer, I've talked about. Um, Somewhat slow, but you get uh, maybe that's offset by the four favors depending on the ally that you don't even have to get the importer for uh, to receive. Uh, and gaining fives, you know, that's pretty significant on a three cost card. So, you know, maybe if once per shuffle you get an extra five, uh, and it's not like you bought you, you lost the. Hopefully you don't lose opportunity to just straight up buy fives, but you get to buy a four and then maybe you gain a five. Uh, you buy a four and opportunity to play this, who knows. Uh, 
So it, it ramps up, but you want to hope that the game is going to go on for a long and that you'll have, uh, you'll be able to spare an action for this. So all that to say, you could get the czars or something, I don't know. <laughs> Merchant camp, top decks, uh, uh, necropolis, with, so it's like a squire, no, not a squire, what's that? Well, the fishing village does this, but instead of you get plus two actions next turn and like it doesn't take up a space in your your hand, this does take a space in your hand and you only get plus two actions. So nice. Maybe you top deck one if you really think you're going to uh, need it, but it's not. It the fact that it stops the top decks and stops you uh, reduces your starting hand size by one. That's a pretty significant thing. That's like you're you're using the the minus one card token just to get this effect but you know people get uh, people buy lots of squires for the village effect so you know uh it's, people make it people will make it work odysseys i've also talked about old map pretty good voyage can be pretty good i mean the fact that it's plus one action every time means that uh you're not you can squeeze it into pretty much anything hope to get the effect whereas uh, outpost you, you're, if you have only one terminal to play per turn, that's like maybe one butcher that you couldn't play just to play the outpost. And at that point, are you really gaining something out of the outpost? Um, sunken treasure, kind of nice. I, I like sun, I sunken treasure. I like having different components in my deck. Um, and distant shore has the nice white, green look. Gets uh, labs, uh, lab that gains an estate. So. Eventually clogs up your deck, but you buy a bunch of distant lands, and maybe you have a reason to use the estates, similar to followers. Not not familiar. I made that mistake last video. Uh, Sentinel. Okay, do the speed song. Uh, anyway, uh, look at the top f three cost action. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may trash up to two of them, put the rest back in any order. Well, um. So it's like Sentry and then Sentinel. Uh, five cards off the top of your deck is enough search space to find the junk most of the time. It's trash up to two. So you don't screw yourself over if you reveal like five amazing cards. Like sometimes that happens with uh, a scouting party. Um, well, I mean, that discards was still like you have like five good cards and you have to discard like three of them. And it's like, why did I buy a scouting party? That's on me. But anyway. Um, Put the rest back in in order. Terminal, so oof, uh, it's more of a good. It's more of like an. I feel like it's more of an open card. Um, if you play it on turn four, you shuffle, and then this doesn't get shuffled in. But you trash two cards, so your next. Uh, you shouldn't. It shouldn't take as long to shuffle again. But uh, who knows? Um, you get the reorder. So terminal. Uh, it doesn't give you any coin, so it's not it's not the same card as Navigator at all at all because it doesn't give coins. So it's not exactly comparable, and the fact that it's terminal means it's not really comparable to uh, it's not comparable to much. Uh, it's like even loan is non-terminal. Most of the cards that like to, just trash on the top of your deck have been non-terminal. So having a terminal that does that. Um, I think it's a decent card, it just like, like compared to it's all steward where you, you trash two from your hand and then you don't have a good hand this turn, uh, the turn you trash with steward and then the next turn is just normal, whereas this, uh, you trash two and you still have four cards in your hand, so maybe you're able to get a four instead of like a two with steward. But then it doesn't have any other utility besides uh, the trashing. And uh, if you draw it towards the end, you can still trash two cards if you have only like, like two on the top. So it's not like you have to reveal five to be able to trash two. So, okay. Okay, card. I think people will open it pretty often. Underling I've talked about. It depends a lot on the the ally but i think a lot of the allies having having the plus one favor is convenient uh on a cantrip like anything that's repeatable that you want to be able to repeat every cycle 
every shuffle is this is great for things that you kind of want uh to front look for things that you want to like kickstart your deck whereas like let's say um architect guild or crafters guild well crafters is one for but like architects guild uh city state things like that i think you want to be a bit more burst you might want to be a bit more bursty so you might want to get more favors at once rather than like a slow increase of underlings so league of bankers is similar you i'd rather get like a bunch of favors early rather than having to buy hireling uh buy multiple hirelings just to hope that i get to like plus one or plus two i'd rather just like have a card that i play once and then i get to plus one uh on the league of bankers so not not necessarily the best ally for any given favor wizards i've talked about uh student is student will trash it'll get the job done it's just that if you trash treasures it like slows your buying power hope and you have to hope that the conjurer makes up for the so you're if you want a lot of fours uh you can make the student conjurer work if you want if fives are important the student is not the necessarily the best trashing uh and beyond conjurer you have sorcerer and lich but like Sorcerer once per turn uh, up to for most cases, and uh, it's pretty. I feel it's pretty reliable to get a, uh, for them to give out curses because the opponent uh, only has five cards, knows about five cards in their deck a lot of the time. If they if at the top of their shuffle, uh, which is not necessarily the case, maybe at the bottom of their shuffle, and they know what the last card is that they bottom decked because you always know the card you bottom decked because uh, you're pissed that you didn't see it already. So. Uh, and it's already in a game with the trash of the student. So the student could trash the uh, curse non-terminally. Pretty bad uh, way to trash, but if there's draw, and you know, something besides Lich for draw, uh, yeah. The thing I didn't catch with Lich is that you're most likely you've trashed a state or copper with the student, so by the time you get to Lich uh, and you try to trash for benefit on it, you may be forced to get uh, copper. Or state. You know what? I, I I like the idea that you could get a state back with Lich because that's one extra point. End game. I want to have the actually want to have the ability to let's say remodel a Lich into a province and then gain an estate back. That might give me like that plus one plus one uh, coin that I need to uh, plus one VP that I need to uh, win win the game for someone versus someone that, that trash their states. Broker I've talked about could be could be salvager without the plus with the buy. It can be the apprentice without the action. It could give a lot of actions or it could give a lot of favors. So this is a good way to get a burst of favors. Uh, not necessarily with a state because that gives you only two and that's typically like one. The the ones that care about only two favors uh, for each effect. That's only once, but. If there's an ally I haven't seen yet that cares about having three favors, okay, that's pretty good. And if you trash a silver with this, you get up to four favors. And using that twice would be... Uh, that already brings you up to League of Bankers level, and maybe you get to use something twice. So, uh, okay, I like that you could always trash. Carpenter is new. If no supply piles are empty, plus one action and gain a card costing up to four. Otherwise, trash a card from your hand and gain a card costing up to two more. Okay, so it becomes a remodel after a supply pile is ending. But before that, it's a... Iron works pretty much. Uh, when no supply piles empty, it's an iron works that no matter what you gain, you get the four. Except the big thing about iron works is that it's used a lot for pileouts, and this cannot be used for pileouts in the same way. So it's not iron. It's it looks like iron works, but in terms of how you practically use it, um, it's more like the workshop part of iron works. Ironworks, not the the wombo combo uh, pile out version uh, of Ironworks that you see a lot. So, but remodel is still a good effect. Uh, in the end game, it's a, it's a useful effect to have. Costing up to two more. Okay. I like I I like it. Uh, courier, I've talked about. Don't have too much to say about it. It can. It's kind of like a cantrip of coin if you have a disc if you have a discard pile. Um, 
Oh, you, you trade play treasure, so it's kind of like a cantrip coin, but there's not as, uh, it might stop your turn. Uh, I guess from that perspective, it's okay, it just it doesn't. If you have if you have like two couriers in your hand and you, you discard like a like a victory card, pretty bad. And if you draw a, uh, if you find a treasure, uh, you can't play your other courier. So it's has bad stacking with itself. That's that's the big thing about the courier. It could play other couriers from the discard, but unless until you find something that gives plus action, um you're not gonna be able to play anything else from your hand. So that's pretty so it's kinda like Vassal in that sense. Uh, if you do have something to discard, you know it has some search space. Innkeeper. Uh, plus one action, choose one, plus one card, or plus three cards and discard three cards. Or plus five cards and discard six cards. Okay, so you can either make it a cantrip, or you can uh, make it a, a warehouse, or this... Psycho plus five cards and discard six cards, which by the, by the time you finish doing that, you'll be at um, three cards. You'll be at minus two cards in your hand from when you started, but that's a lot of search space. If you hit this with um, Elder, you would be to plus one card, plus one action, then plus three cards, then discard three cards. So that's kind of like... Um, a form with slightly more search space, so it's kind of like a buffed up forum in that sense. Uh, or you could use the plus five cards and then plus discard six cards, which would still leave you with um, one less card in hand, but that's like you played a, a forum and then a warehouse. So, okay. For four, I think that's a very good way to get through your deck and find your key cards, uh, find your favorite giving cards, maybe. Who knows? Um, I, I like that it can be a cantrip or a plus three card, discard three cards. Because if it's a cantrip, that means I have more control over my shuffle. So that if I don't, if I draw on a turn, a turn where I have like one card or two cards on the top of my deck and I don't want to trigger a shuffle, I use this as a cantrip. Whereas warehouse is just kind of. I mean, people say warehouse is better than seller, but it's like not by it's like not by much. Like warehouse is still. It's an okay card, it's just that um, spamming it is a problem. You can I, I typically like get to get one or two warehouses when I when I know that I need cards to pair up, which is common. Um, it's just there's less control. So innkeepers I like the innkeeper. Royal Galley I talked about, I think in short it's very good. That's the hit try to hit your draw cards with this is uh best advice i could give if not uh it has uh, i mean the only thing is that it's like a throne it's still like a throne you still have to hit another card you want to throne uh that you want to hit with this and that's not a not not a guarantee in the slightest and it doesn't combo with itself or other duration cards which there is a lot of here so oof. get this in probably in like the mid game or something typically and even even then you might get screwed over by a lack of trashing and just it whiffs Oh, well, but I mean, the effect when it's good, it's like, so good. Town, you know, village that can, uh, would let you use the excess for plus buy and plus coin. I've talked about it. It's, I mean, it's exactly what you want to open with if you wanted a silver anyway. Uh, so that, that, that already puts it pretty high in my book. Barbarian. I think this is the one card I was hearing about that people seem to hate uh, on site. Action attack, uh, plus two coin. Each other player trashes the top card of their deck. If it costs three or more, they gain a cheaper card, sharing a type with it. Otherwise, they gain a curse. That's like giant if it did the attack every turn. Well, not, not true because they gain a cheaper card. So it's a saboteur. Uh, well, not saboteur because saboteur digged for an expensive card. Uh, this always trashes the top one. Um, it could trash their estate or cop. So it could be like a swindler that trashes their copper into a curse or trashes their estate into a curse. That's a big deal. Uh, or trashes their curse into a curse, but by then it's already, they've already been cursed and it gives plus two. 
seems pretty egregious that it gives plus two on top of all of that. But um, imagine you, you, you both get Barbarian. Your Barbarian trashes their Barbarian. They lose that card for the turn, and then they have to gain like a silver or something. Um, I won't ban it immediately, but I, I could see why people would be tilted by this card existing. I like the art, though. Maybe maybe that'll be uh, an emoji or something. Capital City. Plus one card, plus two action. You may discard two cards for plus two. You may pay two for two cards. So you can use it as a village that gives you the mill coins, or you... Um, and or you could discard two and plus two so you use those plus two coins to pay for it or you already have plus two coins from like cantrip coin or the terminal and then you just you get plus one card plus two actions and pay two coin get plus two more cards without discarding anything uh for five yeah that's that that better that better be do, do something like that if it's going to cost five um pretty swell um art's okay I, I mean, I, is it less majestic than like the board? I think the board of village, the fact that it's a like top down view makes it seem like, and like the color scheme is majestic, whereas this is just kind of like a, a bunch of colors. I don't know, it doesn't mesh, the art doesn't mesh with me. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but it's worth talking about how I feel about the art sometimes. Contract. Uh, treasure duration liaison. Show plus two coin, plus one favor. So that's always doing that. You set aside an action from your hand to play at the start of your next turn. Okay, so very good with uh, terminal draw. I think if you terminal draw and then you draw other terminal draw, but then you draw your contract, you can get a chain going pretty well. So already I think it's good for money uh, and giving favors might boost it further for money. Um, and if you're lacking actions, or if, even if you're not lacking actions, if you just have spare overdraw, you just use this as like a way of... Uh, like a royal, royal, not royal galley effect, but like a uh, a haven that gave an extra plus action uh, on the next turn. So it's not like it's not playing the card that you're setting aside. So that has, but it's giving plus two, plus one favor. I think overall, uh, kind of nice. It doesn't have any immediate effect when you get it. So it's I don't think it's going to be like spices where you just get a bunch of these and hope to win but uh i see it as pretty uh a pretty nice uh one of two of to have it's three types emissary action the on plus three cards if this made you shuffle at least one card plus one action plus two favors okay that's that's very good man like that's you the end of your shuffle, like you get like, um, I know people don't like triggering their shuffles at like the, the middle of the, uh, the end of, they think it's going to be the end of their turn, but this, uh, you get to do other stuff. I think the fact that it gives plus one action, that you get to play something else from your hand and you get those favors, it'll let you do something that'll make it worth shuffling. I think a lot of the time and plus three cards for five, you know, five cost smithy uh in general i i i very good uh we it's always nice to have smithies um the bonus on this one i think is pretty cool i don't know if it's always going to be strong but typically you're only going to get like this effect once per turn but you know having anything that gives the fact that it gives favors is pretty nice <laughs> galleria i assume that's how it's pronounced I wonder if it's like uh, in French, this is something. I think Galleria is how I've heard it. Five cost action plus three cards this turn when you gain a card costing three or four plus one buy. What is this with the costing three or four? I want my I want to get a plus buy when I get a two, okay? Like when I get my my herbalist, I want the plus one buy. Not not when I get a three. Uh, there's no wood, like, not one of my woodcutters. I want my, like, my squires and stuff to give me plus one buy. I, I get why it's not that, because then you pile out estates. 
But if it was like once per turn, when you the first time you gain like once per turn when you gain a three, the, the first time you gain a, like a two or four or something, get a plus one buy, uh, give a plus one buy. That would be uh, that would be swell. But as is, it's okay. Um, it turns any three or four cost pile into like a four. Where you just pile if you have a lot of money, you just pile out. So it's still very, very powerful. Uh in all in a lot of situations. Because it's like every time you do it, right? Every time it, no matter what phase you're in. Um But I'm thinking in the terms of you you were doing stuff and you didn't want to open with like a plus buy card that was cheap because there are better cards, and then you get to the point where you want plus buy. And um and then so the having a card that was expensive that let you get the the plus buy card later for conveniently that's what i was hoping that's what i'm hoping for with these cards like that and the, you know nomad camp uh is it no no it's not nomad. it's band of nomad that's the ally uh but still it's it's pretty it's still pretty good it doesn't doesn't draw any cards but it has uh, it basically threatens a it could threaten the pile out in a lot of situations uh, Guildmaster, actually, he has on this turn when you gain a card plus one favor. Uh, it's back to that, uh, like, what's it, Garrison or something, where it's like every time you gain a card, uh, plus one card next turn. Uh, this, again, it's terminal. I know, now I know from, what's it called, Liver, livery, ex livery existing from Menagerie that you could gain a wacky amount of cards in one turn. Uh, even uh, off a terminal play, and this gives plus three, so it's a lot like that. But you're gaining favors instead of uh, card draw, and I don't know how often favors will be comparable to horses, but this is on any card game. So you you get like a what is it a banquet or something, and you get like three plus three favors. That's like pretty swell. You get a bomb, you get plus uh, plus two favors. You get any 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 gains beginning plus favors, and if it's something like. Uh, Order of Masons, and you're just putting cards in your discard every time uh, that you don't want. Uh, you can go pretty wild with this. Uh, nice, I think synergy with the League of Bankers could be pretty swell. Even then, uh, the fact that this costs five, and then League of Bankers is still going up by like one. Uh, League of League of Bankers is so hard to. Um, like when you're getting a lot of cards anyway, like it doesn't seem getting the plus four cards doesn't seem as impressive. That like you care about the the plus four coins. You care about the plus coins when you're struggling each turn. You need that boost, and that, which is in those games you're gonna have a harder time getting the favors. I feel that's why like something that's really bursty uh, is the best for League of Bankers. That you, that will work even in a moneyish thing. So that's why I kind of like broker for that. For uh, broker and League of Bankers is probably the nicest. Uh, practical synergy that I've seen because you, they're actually going to work together in the decks that would use both. Whereas everything else is just like you could do so much. You're you're doing so much else that the the League of Bankers is kind of just a bonus, a, a minor bonus. Highwayman talked about um, the attack is pretty good. It's kind of a cut person. It's not as, nearly as bad as the arch. Uh, Tough as the archer, uh, and the effect is uh, you know plus three cards on, on a terminal though, so it's gain efficient because you don't have to get twice as many, but it's still terminal draw, so it's it could be tough to uh, tough to fit that in. Hunter, pretty uh, I still I, I like the hunter. I don't know uh, getting my pick of the best card on the top, but anyway. Modify I really like can't like you trash a card and it's either cantrip or you gain uh card that costs two more uh there was that card we saw that's uh okay the, the what's it called the not the that forge that gains the force and can be a cantrip that's reminiscent of this this is uh, and there was the carpenter that gain, comes to remodel so this bunch of remodel there's more than one remodel in this set it turns out um so that's pretty cool uh, I really like the modify skirmisher. Also, really like I explained that you're gaining an attack, any attack, uh, while you're gaining, if you're gaining itself and attacking players while you're getting 
this cantrip coin, you're basically slowing the game down to the point where the cantrip coin becomes more and more, uh, having a stack of cantrip coins becomes more and more, has more and more time to pay off. Uh, or maybe not more, like maybe not spectacularly more, but uh, some non-negligible uh, amount more time uh, for a stack to be relevant. Specialists have not seen you may play an action or treasure from your hand. Choose one, play it again, or gain a copy of it. So it's it's either place a treasure twice. So maybe it's either plus two, or it's like a mint. Ah. <sighs> But mint, when I when I buy the mint, I get lose like five cards. Like I trash a bunch of cards when I gain a mint, and then I'm left with like just my good treasures. That so it's likely that I'm going to pair it up with my mint so that I can like print more of that card. This okay, but with platinum, I mean playing a platinum twice, that's like almost a colony. That's a province right there, and almost a colony. So I see the appeal uh, in big treasure. Obviously, with crown, it's going to be pretty nice too. But I mean, you could, they could have just gotten another crown. Really, crown's already played treasure twice, so it's kind of redundant with crown. Getting copies of crowns, though, that's that's nice. Uh, I feel it's okay, but it's like not. Oh, but you can play an a you can play an action or treasure. Oh, I'm so stupid. So you can throne room anything, or you can uh, you can kill me. Except better than kill because you can at least if you're if you dead if you this is your terminal for the turn you still played that other card you still played something you, you still have a way of actually gaining that card you want whereas with kill okay you play it it's a terminal now you don't have the option to play that uh, bazaar you you have in your hand and you only gain an extra copy of treasures so the kill it's like okay you gain the plus two coin you better make something use of the plus two coin because the the gain part is awkward here at least okay you, you got to play that other card that you want to gain the copy of so okay it's way it's way better but um it still doesn't trash on it doesn't do anything with the, the trashing cards so you got to uh you still need some finesse here and it's not uh, it's an okay I, I think i don't know why i missed the, the action part the first time but um obviously that makes it way better but uh Well, it's always a throne room, just five cost throne rooms. I just, uh, you don't get, it's harder to get a critical mass of them because it's hard. There's a lot of cards that gain fours, not as many cards gain fives. And, uh, you, I mean, you could gain copies of this if you play, uh, you play a specialist on a specialist. Um, hmm. Doesn't get around playing from your hand restrictions. So, like, doesn't this doesn't get around the voyage uh, penalty or the... What is the the warlord? What it, whatever it was on the uh, the clashers that uh, prevents you from doing two or more. Anyway, this playing a village is okay because then you you get a copy of the village, and you still get the plus two act. You still get the action. So this is actually like as if it has one plus one action stapled onto it. So just plus one action, gain a card in your hand. That's like pretty pretty good if you can pair them up. So. There are ways of pairing up the card. There's a lot of ways of like setting up your starting hand or whatever to get the card you want into your hand. So that's actually uh, in this set. Specialist has a lot of uh, synergy, like with Innkeeper, all that, all that, all that good stuff. You know, swap. Uh, a lot of people think this is like among the best cards in the set. Definitely very good. I. I I, they might be right. They might be right. You just had turning a two that does something for you uh, while it was a two, and then you, you swap in it for something that uh, like a up cost with a five in your hand, um, and you just turn around like that, and it's very it's pretty flexible. Uh, it's never worse than a okay a five cost cantrip is pretty bad, but uh, you're not yeah you're getting it. Uh, ho you're hopefully pairing it up with something, and if you. In worst case scenario, you, you give up like uh, a fairly good card. 
like a nice your a payload card let's say a four cost plus two for like a hunter or something i don't know you, you gain something that will at least prevent you from dudding in bad situations or you replace it you you swap something for like a modify or a remodel and you, you end the game somehow or you have a bunch of you have like five horses horses in your hand and you just swap them all for more swaps and you, you empty the swap pile i don't know there's a lot of stuff you can do to swap marquee is the last action um plus one buy okay six cards plus one card per card in your hand discard down to 10 cards in hand so it doubles your hand size and if you have more than 10 cards you discard down to 10. so if you play this on the beginning of your turn in a five card hand you get up to eight that's like man man so that's uh you you um you're not reaching 10. uh but madman gave plus two actions this gives zero actions this gives you plus buy though so like if you have a six a seven six or seven card hand you get up to you get up to 10 cards in hand you get plus buy uh you can use your treasures to buy stuff and if you had got a, if you had any sort of village whatsoever like uh i don't know the merch uh not what is that called merchant something Sorry about this. I want I want to find that card. That was uh, Merchant Camp. Yeah, that's that. Even that. Okay, that reduces your hand size by one, so you're only gonna get up to six hand. Okay, but uh, it's the opposite of a. This is like the opposite of like a draw. Uh, draw to X. This is like draw down to X. I don't know what uh, how you describe this, but. Uh, um. Cost six reason uh, reasonable. I think uh, that uh, it gives you to eight with no action. I think it's a fair, a fair effect, and uh, you know, always, always nice to have that plus buy in there. We'll move on to the allies. There's twenty three of them. There should be architect skill two favors for a cheaper non victory card. I talked about it. It's, uh, very good in a lot of very good with a lot of these cards. So from what I've seen. I mean, I haven't seen any, any cra uh, the, I guess the crazy favor giving card is the guild master. Um, and that, so that guild master, this is going to be a very nice uh, synergy. I mean, you're, you're gaining extra cards that are feeding favors. So you could do this next turn. So that's like very, uh, very uh, powerful combinations. Band of nomads. I talked about loop before I wish it affected uh, two Cards that costed two, but that I guess they're trying to avoid a state. But uh, I mean, in this set, there's cards that uh, most of the cards cost three, so I could see why. Because um, I I just like the idea of having a plus buy, um, getting an extra plus buy when you have to on the turn you have to buy a plus buy. But you get to spend one favor for a card. I think that can be quite useful uh, to control your shuffles, gaining action is nice with uh like any workshop which there are several in this uh in the set alone and not even just workshops just like allies they gain cards that no th this would be the only ally ever because you can only have up to one ally so never mind that but um okay i'm not i'm not, I'm not super hyped on this F spend favors to uh set up your hand uh, discard or draw uh pretty good with a lot of these cards that need to stuff to pair up with um nice with like merchant camp to set up with the smithy so it's good it's nice uh safety net this curse of circle of witches is a new one after you play a liaison you may spend three favors to have each other player gain a curse okay so this is what i was uh, saying about like the um the broker if there's like a card that cares about having exactly three favors except okay this is after you play the liaison so you're able to like trash an estate with the broker get the favors and then curse everybody uh you don't do much i mean that's that leaves you with a three card hand like maybe buy a silver or like a three cost but you still cursed everybody and you didn't buy one so and then you don't get to do it again the next time you trash an estate so that's still pretty pretty bad synergy with uh um 
broker and you, it only works once every time you play the Lianza. So you have to keep playing broker. If you trash like a gold or something, then you have to pl uh, you'd have to play it again to get the second curse that same turn. Not unreasonable. You might get you might have multiple brokers. That's not a uh, going to be a too unusual scenario for other cards. Uh, I mean, underling every third underling gives a curse. Okay, guildmaster. Um, not so good with guildmaster because guildmaster's terminal, and you have to actually play the liaison card to give out the curses, and uh, it's only one up to one curse. Doesn't say repeat as desired. Like uh, Cave of Dwellers is the one I, so far the only one I've seen that says repeat as desired. Um, what's what's that card? Importer is a liaison. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give one one curse there. Okay. Uh, anyway, moving on. City State. When you get an action card during your turn, you may spend plus two favors to play it. Situationally very good. Not as good if you're only ever gaining actions in the buy phase, but you can make it work. If you buy like a, uh, a butcher or something or any any card that gains something the turn you play it, city state will help with that. But then that contradicts the the condition I, I just stated. So um, I need to I'd like to play more with this, but I think it's it's quite fun that every time you gain something, it's like you get you get that card right into play. That's like a plus one card already, and that's a like plus action, so you're gaining like a. You're getting a very nice effect. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with City State. Coastal Haven, you get to spend any number of favors to keep stuff in your hand. Uh, pretty spike. You can do with anything that gives a lot of favors repeatedly. Let's say maybe like Underling or Guildmaster, you can you can have some pretty good control. You're increasing your hand size at the end of your buy. So unlike Haven, you have to you have to play the Haven and put whatever's currently in your hand into the next turn. This is at the end of your action phase no at the end of your buy phase even you can hold that so that's way more control crafters guild spend two favors gain a card costing the four into your deck very with some of these favors that give you lots of give you more favors each turn i think is very repeatable like was even like contract very good so yeah um Sorry about that. Uh, desert guides. At the start of your turn, you may spend a favor to discard your hand and draw five cards. Repeat as desired. Um, so you spend one favor and you get to do the guide effect. Wow. Um, that's... I like that. Uh, doesn't... I mean, having a stockpile of favors is not going to do much for this because he's typically going to use it like, once or twice a turn at most. Um, but if you have like 10 favors, you just keep cycling. You just keep finding a, a five card hand that eventually gets you to like the last province. Who knows? Just how do you, why did you get all those favors? Uh, I think it's just, uh, just a nice, a nice ally to have. Um, at the start, let's say at the very beginning of the game, you could spend that first favor you start with to um, skip over your two cost hand and buy the five uh, first turn or something. Or um, on turn two, if you already bought a five turn one, you just skip over and uh, try to find that card. So if there's nothing you wanted for three or nothing you wanted for two, you use that favor right away and then maybe you get more favors. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, more ways to play around with the opening. Um, play with the or get with the split piles. You would if someone tries to pull a fast one on you with the herb gather as well. You use you can use this desert guide yourself to get your own copy. So I think it's uh, I think it's good. I like it. Family of inventors. Uh, Yeah, so uh, I've talked about this one before. Um, it was in the previews. And um, as I said before in that, uh, in my other impression for the previews, uh, the fact that you get to take advantage of the cost reduction first is very nice. And uh, you don't do anything 
uh, that first favor that you start the game with, you didn't do anything to get that favor. So you just get a, a straight benefit. Uh, you have initiative or when you use it. Uh, so that's, even if your opponent gets to share that benefit, it's um, it's still worth using in a lot of situations, I think. As for getting more favors, well, uh, if you get a, you have control when you spend those favors. So if you have a few hirelings and then you want to make a certain pile cost uh, zero and then pile them out, well, you, you get to do it before your opponent. So the fact that you get to do it first before your opponent makes this uh, quite a potent card, I think. Uh, you know, turning anything into like the peddlers. Let's say there's a, uh, both players have three buys. You make a pot pot zero, you get three on your turn. Your opponent gets three on their turn. And then you get another three on your turn. And now you're like six to three on the, whatever that split was. Um, or you know, six to four, seven to three. Like that's, that's just pretty uh, swell. So I think this is something that's going to be uh, relevant quite often. Uh, the next one. Fellowships of Scribes. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice image. After playing an action, if you have four or fewer cards in hand, you may spend a favor for a plus one card. Um, so anytime you play a card in your starting hand that doesn't draw, you can spend a favor to get a bug back up to five. Um, you know, works well with that, what's it called, Merchant Camp, I keep talking about. Um, if you have the favors though, so, but here, this is a card where I feel like having a stockpile of favors is going to be kind of handy because there might be a lot of times in a turn where you, you're reduced to four or fewer cards in hand. Um, even if against a discard attack, you, you play any action, you get to spend the favor and get the plus one card. So, uh, I think that's, uh, very nice to grease the wheels. Uh, I mean, in take cases where you're drawing a lot, it's not going to matter much. In like village smithy things where that for some typical games, but other games, uh, I mean, it's usually always going to be a spot where you play a terminal or you play a card and uh, you don't go up to five when you're playing that card at the start of the turn. So I think it has a varying utility, but I think it's uh, one of the okay one, one of the okay ones. And the fact that it doesn't have any relevance in every game that might be uh, notable. Like if a, if all the if you don't typically start your turn with a terminal that doesn't draw, then it's not going to be very valuable. Forest dwellers, several dwellers. Okay, so so at the start of your turn, um, you may spend a favor to look at the top three cards of your deck, discard any number, put the rest back in any order. Um, you only get to spend one favor. You don't get to repeat it. So that uh, limits what you can do. But still, uh, having like a, a reserve of favors, having control of that top deck is uh, um, a really nice effect. Uh, like at the beginning, like when you start the game with a favor, and like on your first turn, you use this and you set up your next turn to be better. Uh, like if you have five cost, uh, five coppers in your first hand, that you can make your second hand not have, a, um, maybe not be a two cost hand anymore, and you might even draw your. Uh, five cost on turn two so it has a lot of uh, utility like that um i i i i like sun's gift uh from nocturne um very good for like not dudding and this i think is going to be uh helpful per pretty often like if you have like a hand of like that's cantrips or uh even just like village smithy and you're not sure if you're going to draw anything good you lose a favor so if you have like a couple hirelings um that's going to be nice uh to do this every turn so cool card gang of pickpockets at the start of your turn discard down to four cards and handle unless you spend a favor i talked about this in previews uh i i think don't break your back trying to avoid this uh discard down to four cards and hand effect if the the way of getting favors is not all that good um typically in the beginning of the game you can discard estates if you're stuck with a five cost hand and you really want a five cost card uh you could spend that starting favor to get around that uh so you can keep your five cost hand so that's pretty nice um otherwise i mean you might get uh 
if you have a couple hirelings, you can prevent this from happening, but other cards that like you have to like if you're gonna get like three baubles and get favors just so you don't have this card in hand, I don't know, maybe those those are all stop cards, so maybe you should reevaluate uh, how uh that decision. But whereas like with contracts, you know, you you using the contract getting good it's a getting good stuff off off of that anyway with the the Haven effect uh, with the um play the card next turn effect. So there you might spend a favor. So it's uh yeah, as I said, it really it, if if the way of getting favors is not super convenient, then maybe just like try to make the best of the situation with the gang of pickpockets. Uh, complicates things if there's like a, a cathedral around, so that you have an even smaller hand. But you know, the, you have to play it by ear there. Island folk also another preview card. At the end of your turn, at the previous turn with yours, you may spend five favors to take an extra turn, an, another turn. Uh, Really good with anything that gains like multiple favors per turn because you on that extra turn you regain the favor you gain like up to five if between your extra turn and uh your next normal turn you're able to regain five favors reliably you're gonna be able to get an extra um turn every turn so very powerful with certain uh, allies like hireling very good even bobble like if you as long as you're getting draw. In your top decking stuff, that's going to help you find your baubles. It's going to be very good. Um, broker, if you're gaining a, a fuel for it every uh, two turns, you're, there's a lot. I think there's a lot of cards that can. Uh, um, a lot of the favorite givers are going to be able to uh, make this work. You know, guild master. It, it depends uh, if you're able to get extra cards. Uh, that that the guild master in general really depends if you can get more than one card per turn. So that's that one's up in the air, less of a sure thing than like hireling. But it's really powerful effect. League of Bankers. I've been talking about this a bunch. The start of your buy, buy phase plus one per four favors you have. Uh, talked about this enough, but like you start the game with one favor, so getting those first three favors is the easiest, typically. And then uh, if you um, you don't try to go further than that. Uh, I think it's okay. Like, let's say with students, you're going to be able to, uh, you only need three favors to get the plus one. And I think there's some synergy there because student, you're trashing fair, you're fat trashing, like uh, if you're trashing treasures, you're trashing, let's say three, you can trash three within three turns. And then uh, you're going to get plus one for the rest of the game, which is uh, good. It's, this is going to be pretty good, both with the, in general, with the uh, um, student that's other otherwise making it uh, reducing your hand size every time you play it, and uh, well, the conjurer is an extra card in your hand typically when you play it, but uh, when you don't play it, when you have to redraw it, then that's another the plus one is valuable. Uh, broker I mentioned is you might be using broker in a more money ish thing anyway, and that's this when. League of Bankers is going to be helpful the most is when you're doing like a uh, rush for provinces or something. So, which is the opposite of like how hireling is typically being used. So not, you might get a stack of like four plus four, like you might get like 20 favors and get plus five, but maybe the game plus five is not uh, what's deciding the game. And that even in that case, if you're able to play that much, uh, get to that point, there might be something wild, really wild going on the uh, you know pile outs it depends so um look look to see if it's convenient to get to the first uh get the first three extra favors uh league of shopkeepers after you play a liaison so that effect if you have five or more favors plus one and if ten or more plus one action and plus one buy so I feel like it's like similar if five favors. That's like every card gives plus one. So that could, if it's underling, that's already better than the a league of bankers. And if it's 10 or more, uh, all those cards become villages. Oh, it gives plus one action and plus one buy. Um, not good necessarily with broker. Uh, Bobble, yeah, 
actually. Bobble, getting an extra plus one off Bobble is okay. The action and plus buy is maybe less relevant for Bobble, but uh, plus buy, okay. Uh, Guildmaster, this is really good. Your guild, uh, at 10 or more, your Guildmasters are certainly uh, giving plus four and plus one action and plus one buy. Uh, that's something that uh, you can expect to happen. Uh, what was that other one? The uh, Emissary... Uh, I don't know when you're going to get to 10. You get, what is it, two favors every time with Emissary? So you, you shuffle five times with Emissary, your last card. Uh, all of your Emissary is going to be non-terminal. So that's, some, that's something to uh, uh, look for. Um, and they're going to be giving plus one point. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like I like being able to buff up the embass, uh, Emissaries, the, 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 the Smithy that, like, you shuffle and you get plus one action and plus two favors if that calls you to shuffle. Let me double check the wording on that emissary actually. If this made you shuffle at least one card, yeah, okay. Market towns, is this gonna be like merchant camp? Uh, at the start of your buy phase, you may spend a favor to play an action card from your hand, repeat as desired. Oh, there's another repeat as desired, okay. So it turns your favors into plus one action. But it has to be in your buy phase. So that's good for terminal payload coin cards. Uh, there's a bunch. Like, you know, Guild Master is a notable one. If you need it for your buy phase. Uh, duration. So like you can if you play if you play this on draw cards and you draw treasures, you can still be able to play those treasures. So like if you use your favors to play wharves and you draw more wharves. Well, first you could spend more favors to play those extra wharfs, and you could play whatever treasures you draw. So, I think um, with certain favor with anything that gives this is another one where you want to have like uh, if there's a card that gives you a lot of favors, if you turn it into like a village, that's well, I, I think that's cool. Uh, I feel like sometimes it's going to be pretty powerful. Sometimes it's. Uh, then it's not going to be as uh, you're going to be able to play all of your actions anyway, so um, not as relevant all the time. But you know. mountain folk at the start of your turn, you may spend five favors for plus three cards. Five favors, plus three cards. I feel like that's less dramatic than island folk. Not only because you don't get the extra turn, you don't get the extra turn to buff up those favors again. Um, and you can only do it once. And uh, how many? How many cards? Uh, how how quickly can you get five favors? Uh, like if we talk about League of Bankers, and you have like you had like twenty favors across the game from hirelings, you're gonna get a plus four per turn. With this, you would have drawn uh, twelve cards across the game. I mean, maybe maybe that's better. Maybe uh, if you needed cards to pile up, and if you have, if your car, if your deck goes kind of uh, wild, uh, doesn't like scales uh, more than linearly as your uh, hand size increases. Uh, good with marquee. That's over there on the right, uh, the left. Um, could be good on the last turn. Uh, you could be good for setting up a mega turn at the end of the game if you want to do like a bridge thing. Uh, you want to set up like Throne Room or King's Court Bridge. Well, you just save up all your favors and then on the last on the turn you're ready to go off. You spend a bunch of no. You can only do it once per. You can only do it once per turn. So even that's a trouble. No. I mean, if it was less than five favors, I think it would be busted. But um, knowing what five favors can get you, like seeing what it, what I can do with Island Folk. Um, I, I mean, I do like having extra cards at the start of my turn. That's really good. It's just how often you're not going to be able to do this a lot of the time in the game. But that, maybe that's OK. Maybe it's just a few turns in the game. You get an extra foot plus three cards. Uh, you know, your hirelings. Maybe you have to get like, really delayed. Uh, uh, you get two hirelings. That's like. A delayed sinister it's like a sinister plot in a sense every few turns you're going to get a boost and sinister plot uh 
actually quite a good card and you don't here you don't even, you don't buy this you, you buy the sinister plot once to get that effect here you buy the favor giving card uh with something that gives more favors like what's that card uh guild master yeah yeah you can you can get this baby every turn sometimes order of astrologers when shuffling you pick one you may pick one card per favor you spent to go on top so it's like the reverse of the order of masons where you 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 spend a favor like this was in the previous this has been a favor to like take bad cards out of your shovel here you put the the good cards on top uh i feel like that's not as that's not super good um the nice thing is you don't have to do like you don't have to you have one favor at the start of the game, so you can make sure that thing you buy at the beginning of the game gets put on top. So it's a very feels good effect. And then if you have a favor giver, um, you could put multiple cards on top. So if it's multiple scrying pools, yeah, if it's uh, um, more than one, I think puts it like a star chart. You only get to put one card on the top of your deck, which is limiting because uh sometimes you, it's all of your cards need to synergize with other cards in your deck to do something but with this you get to put those cards to synergize together on top so you get to put like your village smithies or your lost cities and your other cards together um except your hero chains the fact that you get put more than one card i think uh is significant because then you can start uh making sure that you get the right synergies at the beginning of your turn uh, making sure that like your uh, elders and your townsfolk are together, making sure that your uh, your your draw to X cards are with your other cards that uh, disappear uh, that give you actions. So um, you can do more with this than you would be able to do with Star Chart. Order of Masons uh, we talked about. Uh, I think it's really good with Hireling and, and not nearly as good with Ducket. Uh, not duck it what's it called bobble but uh still anything that like um gets gets you favors regularly is nice uh beyond that well let's say with emissary you get two favors when you shuffle and then you you take two cards uh, you take like four cards out that you don't want uh so then you shuffle faster so you can keep doing that so that turns your emissaries into like a a pseudo islands or something uh, I, like pseudo trashing that's uh there's a few good things with order of masons uh, i don't know about student though but you know peaceful cults uh by phase you may try to spend any number of favors which actually many cards in your hand uh i mean this is capped by how uh it puts a, like a ceiling on how good the favors are because after you've trashed all your junk uh you don't need the favors anymore but still that's like so good uh, you trash like your your estates and most of your coffers, and you get to do it at the beginning of your buy phase, not the beginning of your turn. So you have after you've drawn everything, you've seen all your junk, you've paired up, uh, you drove through through your curses, you get to trash them all. So that's really good. Pato shepherds, for each favor you you can have a, if you have a two cost any pair of favors and two cost cards, you get two VP. Uh, pretty good depending on. Uh, if any are any good two cost cards, the bobble is a two cost card, so that tends to have a uh, some nice extra VP, and you could top deck more bobbles. You could top deck anything that gains two, so pretty good. Uh, Trapper's Lodge, a new one. When you gain a card, you may spend a favor to put it onto your deck. Uh, okay. So if you have a um, every few turns, if you have a, if you gain a few favors, you get to. Uh, any, any new cards you gain that turn, you're able to put... So uh, while you're building, this is really good. So as long as you get a favorite card, let's say a hireling or a, even a broker, um, you're going to be able to uh, set up your, your turns pretty nicely. I think it's... A, it's a, you don't buy... The fact that you just... And you start the turn with a... Uh, you start the game with a favor, so you get to... Uh, whatever you open with, you can see it on turn two. There's a lot, there's a lot of uh, uh, allies that are letting you see stuff on turn two gotta say and this one is very direct in that like you're top decking it. it's not like the forest dwellers where you might see it this is okay no you're actually seeing the card uh 
and then like you know the order of astrologers is turn three this is turn two so the last one woodworkers guild uh at the start of your buy phase you may spend a favor to trash an action card from your hand if you did gain an action card any action card so it's not capped to six like advance uh no that's this is pretty good i mean i i've seen uh advance uh be unexpectedly useful and here you don't even spend the buy uh you just spend the favor instead so uh you start the game with a favor you might get some more favors you might have some cheap cards so you're like kind of swapping you're not really swapping because it's not going to hand and uh, it's already buy phase but uh cheap cards to get any action card even a potion card even a debt card um yeah this unlike advance you can get debt, debt and potion cards um and it's the your buy phase so you're gonna have to see you're gonna draw up to, you're gonna see what action card you're gonna find your action cards that you don't want uh by the by the end of the turn hopefully so uh i like this card i think there's a lot of uh cool stuff you could do anything with the on trash effect uh, is gonna like this trashing that uh whatever that card is that uh, you get uh you you get two favors uh when you trash it yeah the cycle fan so you can uh I haven't been discussing the Psychophant much because I, I forgot about it, but yeah, there, there's your Psychophant, okay. Um, and that's it for the new cars. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, quite excited to play around with these. Thanks.